Yep, supervolcano alert as rediscover a giant magma chamber beneath the surface. Yellowstone sits above a giant magma chamber fed by volcanic eruptions hundreds of miles deep. Yellowstone, located in Wyoming, USA, is one of the few supervolcanoes in the world. A volcano that has ever erupted with a volcanic explosivity index of 8. The caldera, a large cauldron-like depression formed after magma chambers are emptied during an eruption, is located above the Yellowstone hotspot beneath the Yellowstone Plateau. Here, light and hot magma from the mantle rises to the surface. With hotspots deep beneath the surface, so deep that the North American plate slides west-southwest over it. Over the past 16.5 million years, this hotspot has produced a series of explosive eruptions but less catastrophic floods of basaltic lava. Currently, scientists and researchers are closely watching Yellowstone for signs it may explode in the near future. It is generally accepted that an eruption in the next 10,000 years is highly unlikely, with scientists finding no smaller lava eruptions in more than 30 years of monitoring. But this hasn't stopped field workers studying the caldera, creating state-of-the-art charts and models with data taken from the volcano, as explored during the Smithsonian Channel's documentary, Yellowstone Supervolcano. In 2015, scientists gathered new data that gave them their best idea of Yellowstone's underground plumbing. Identifying the volcano's magma chamber from its last eruption, they discovered how it was fed by magma plumes stretching 465 miles northwest into Montana, mostly solid rock but potentially melting. Using the data, the researchers created a graph showing giant yellow rods shooting toward the ground far from the surface of Yellowstone. It is through the plumes that magma, or molten rock, rises into the magma chamber at a rate of 2 inches per year. There is no reason for this process to stop, and it will eventually continue until the pressure becomes too great and a volcanic eruption occurs, or, for short, a sharp eruption. While this is not surprising, what concerns scientists is the process of liquidation. The real danger comes when the plume begins to melt and travel upwards at a faster rate. When it erupts, it is impossible for Yellowstone's magma to turn into lava because the intensity of the eruption will force most of it to shoot up into the sky. It would then take the form of airborne ash particles, tiny jagged pieces of superheated rock. This event alone would affect nearly the entire US and Canada, with tens of millions of people within a 1.00 kilometers, 621 miles, radius at risk of death. Once the ash is inhaled, it will form a cement-like mixture in human lungs and cause suffocation. And, while those outside the 1000K range are probably safe from immediately after the eruption, a centimeter of ash will still fall, still a dangerous level for human lungs. Even Europe will be hit by ash, while the rest of the world will experience climate change. Global temperatures will drop by around 10 degrees Celsius and stay that way for at least a decade. Things like crops and water supplies will also be badly affected. Several scientists and organizations have spent years devising plans to stop any future Yellowstone eruptions that ever occur. NASA has spent a lot of time looking for solutions, such as increasing the amount of water inside a volcano with the intent of extracting heat from it thereby reducing the risk of pressure buildup. But many say that in reality this will prove too difficult, with politicians unlikely to agree to such an initiative, 